called stage fright. Okay, anyway. It's completely going. Okay, it's still going. Oh, and I can, just delete uh, I can edit it. Okay, so, hi, I'm Christine Marie Chen, also known as Bay Area Knitter on Instagram and Twitter. And this is kind of my first podcast, which we decided, we kind of just decided to put together spur of the moment after our trip to TNNA. So we're both kind of nervous, and we're just going to see how it goes. I have a name too. I'm and this is Lorna Miser. <laughs> yes. She's my BFF, my mentor, uh, author, designer, queen of the knitting world. She, go ahead and introduce yourself. <laughs> Lorna Miser. We're at my house. You can tell by the purple wall and purple stuff everywhere. And we traveled to TNNA in Columbus, Ohio together. And uh, Christine drove up from San Jose so that we could have the fun of all that travel nonsense together instead of separately mm -hmm. and so we just got back last night at midnight and we're very tired <laughs> well but we have yarn everywhere we have so much yarn and swag and ideas and energy and jobs and so coffee <laughs> <laughs> coffee and cute knitting mugs right which I didn't bring to show next time okay so anyway, TNNA, why don't we just kind of define what that is. It's the National Needle Arts Association, and I'm going to let Lorna sort of explain what it means and what we do there. TNNA is the industry trade show. It's held twice a year, usually kind of middle of the country and west coast, and it is for people who work in the industry. It is not open to Jane Everyday Knitter, unfortunately, sorry, because really there's not a whole lot of selling going on, like bring stuff home. We happen to be lucky designers who do get to bring stuff home. But for the most part, it's um, shop owners going shopping for what they're going to carry in their stores. And the vendors there are, for the most part, yarn companies. And um, it's not really a festival. and. It's actually mm. a lot of work. And we're on our feet too. all the time. <laughs> Which is why we wear cowboy boots. Right. <laughs> yes. In fact, quite a few of the designers wore cowboy boots. And yes. we got some cute pictures of that. I'm sure you saw Be on Instagram. Be sure you check out Instagram. Yes. Lorna Knits on or Instagram. Or look up the boot brigade. Right. <laughs> or actually, there's a lot of photos at uh, hashtag TNNA or TNNA show. Right. I think TNNA show was their official yeah, but, but some a of lot us of broke people, the rules. Yeah. yeah, we didn't know. Most we just people did whatever just we wanted. Put T in an A. Right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we didn't get much sleep while we were there. <laughs> our feet hurt. Our feet swelled. We drank too much, but we had. <laughs> well, I drank too much. Right. But we have <sighs> yarn like crazy. Sorry, I'm looking at a hummingbird, and it's just sitting on her porch. Yeah, that hummingbird likes to sit on that little that little thing. Um, so we started out the show, we got there a day early so that we would have time to supposedly get some sleep. That didn't really work out. Then we, we went to, um, I'm a teacher of knitting and at yarn shops and conventions. And so I did a teacher meet and greet at a table with other teachers and promoted myself to um, shop owners and convention organizers and hopefully I'll get some gigs out of that. Be sure and ask your local shop if they want me to come, because I'm yes. fun. Bring Lorna and to your hometown. And from there we went into the fashion show, mm -hmm. and there's what over close to 100 beautiful fashions knit, designed by all the yarn companies, ending with a knit wedding gown with beads and amazing. mohair, and that was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So. And then after the fashion show, we went to Marley Bird's designer dinner, which is also for professional designers. Almost a hundred people there, probably too. I think so. Mm -hmm. You want to tell her, tell them about Marley's dinner? A little bit. We'll see what I can remember. <laughs> First, thank you, Marley, for everything, for inviting us to your designer dinner, and the swag was amazing. Yeah. And we got to meet 
lots of new people. We arrived together, but they sat us at different tables. They broke us up. So I think they did that on purpose. They don't want any clicks happening. Right. So I was sitting next to people I didn't know. <laughs> Forced to meet other people, other knitters, other designers. So there's yarn all over the table at the end mm -hmm. of the evening. Oh, they were um, contests. They had, they had, they drew numbers out and our name tags had, um, oh, I should have that sign. Oh. But anyway, we had name tags and with numbers on the back. And then there's yarn on the table. I'm looking at yarn here all over the table. <coughs> As I, there we go. Designers <laughs> rule. There, there was another yeah. one that said, um, hire me. Well, I don't have that one, but we do have Wish You Were Here. Wish you were here. And yeah. it's hashtag MBDD for Marley Bird's designer dinner. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you had a lot more signs on your table than we did. I stole them afterwards. I People see. left them on the table, so I just took them. We had cute little name tags that looked like chalkboards, too. Make beautiful things. And Best this was swag. a good one. We're not going to talk about that one. But yes, best swag ever. Best we swag we ever. Got oh, wait. Yeah. No, tote bag mind. full of swag. <laughs> I'm going to just show some of my purple swag because purple rules at my house. She is the purple queen. She's got purple on right now. One of the As always. One of the biggest donators at that dinner is um, Prism Yarns. So I don't know if you can see just how glittery this is. It looks kind of blue in the photo, but... Anyway, and purple we'll glitter. Let's see if we can show them the label. This is a really wide ribbon. This one is some hand dyed. Um, it's really soft. R really soft. Again, from Prism. Prism. Oh, up higher. The colors aren't red. really. The colors aren't showing up true well, to they what they might they show look. up on yours better. This one's interesting because it's made out of silk um, uh, fabric, so it's ch ch chiffon fabric, so it's thin, also ribbony. Then there's some tweed from Knit Picks. Beautiful purple tweed. Purple. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this stuff <laughs> from Mango Moon that's got little beads in it, threaded throughout, beads and and texture and it almost looks like hand spun. Oh yeah. Well I, I got orange. I scored two. Mm -hmm. One's blue and purple, one purple and pink. Oh in here so they can see the content and maybe see there we go. Oh there you um let's see. There's a little yes. sample skein from the fiber company that's purple. It's called Cumbria. And it came with this little um little gauge gauge measure that's also a keychain. Then there's needles mm -hmm. from Clover. There's there's some uh, Uclan wash. I'm showing you about five percent of the stash. We had we had literally had two tote bags full. There's just every every yarn company you can think of amazing. And a just book. Amazing. Yeah, there was a the book was in the back. Yes, there right. were books from from Interweave Press. We got different books. Mine's a crochet. Uh, hers was a sewing book. Oh, oh, and we can't forget about Erin Lane, Lane bags. bags. Oh, I, I was I'm not prepared. I didn't get all. My I stuff got a together. couple of Erin Lane bags. Um, the other one was <coughs> yellow, which is not purple, so I gave it away. But pink is close enough to purple for me to go. Wee! It's a cute one. <laughs> I like that. Knitter's Pride Needles. What didn't we get? I mean, just um, Red Heart has some pretty cool yarns. This is all soft and yummy. It's a, one of their boutique brown sheep. You name it. Mm. Anyway, we have more swag than Did we know. Did you show your do. Lolo bar? Oh, that was, was that just a sample you got from the floor, right? No, this was in the bag. Oh, okay. That was. Just oh, okay. Tell, me, tell them what it this was. Is. This is, it's like lotion, but it comes in bar form. So you, you know, you take it and you rub it on your hands like soap. And it just soaks in and moisturizes. It's safe for your knits. So it's solid, so mm -hmm. you can take it on the airplane, too. Kind of like a chapstick So for you your don't hands. have to forget to not take it out at the airport. Right. Okay. This one was in there, too. This um, 
you read the company. I don't have my glasses oh. on. Hmm. Knit but circus yarns. But I love the the hand dyed color changing. It's knit circus. It's not purple, but it's really amazing. Show that. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so we have, and then, and then that's even before the show even opened. Once the show opened on Saturday, then um, we walk around and start talking to yarn companies and publishers, magazines, book publishers, and see if they need designs. What do they want uh, for their company that we can do? And so who did you talk to? Mm -hmm. Or, I mean... Not all of them, but right. the list is too long. There's hundreds of exhibitors, and you can't talk to everybody. I did, I did that for sure. I went to Manos del Uruguay because I've designed for them before in the past, and I was so excited because this year they had my new fingerless mitts that I just did for them, and I pulled it up on my on my iPad. They had the sample in the in the um, booth, so I don't have it with me, but. If you can see, there's sort of, there's a glare. Oh, that's better. There we go. And they're called Cobre. I think that's how you pronounce it. C-O-B-R-E. They will be released on Manos del Uruguay's website in a couple of weeks. Um, they had a poster board made up, so I was really excited about that. It was hanging on the wall. And it had my mitts on it, so I, of course, had to take a picture with that. There she is. You there probably I see am. it on Instagram, too, right? Probably, yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, Bay Area Knitter on Instagram, then you'll see all the photos we took from TNNA while we were there. Right. Um, another, um, well, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> I... I should have gotten the Noro magazine out. Oh. Because if I had thought... Where is it? It's in the living room. If I... Do you think you can get it? I'll be right back. She'll, she'll, she'll I'll see, see if I can find it. it. I think I left it sitting out. Uh, yeah, so Noro is, you know, a company... They don't normally hire designers. And um, it's not It's not it's there. It's not there. Oh, shucks. Wait. Oh, it's right there. I see it. Cool. Uh so if I had bothered to go by their booth, which I didn't, because they don't hire designers, but their publisher does, oh and sorry, they put out sure. Noro, they put out Noro magazine, and if I had gone by their booth, there's probably a big poster of my design there because I've done one design for Noro, and it made it to the cover. <laughs> cover girl, I am a cover girl. Yay! This is her. Nobody design. wants to see my face. But there's my design. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> so this issue is just coming out, and there I am. So I didn't even know that until I was. We were packing for the trip home, and in our swag bag there was a postcard that had this on it, and I'm like, that's my design. How cool is that? But okay. Well, Very awesome. Didn't didn't know till I got home. Congratulations. All right. Dream come true. To be so on Noro. Home. <laughs> and and um, oh, I did talk to another yarn company that I'm excited to share. I don't know if you've heard of Spin Cycle Yarns, but they were there, and they have a yarn that's called Dyed in the Wool, uh, because it's dyed before it's spun, dyed which makes in the, the colors blend differently. Oops. There, I don't want to cover your face. I'm still getting used to this. It's like left is right and right is left. Yeah mirror it's like backwards okay so I got two skeins in the Mississippi Marsala colorway and the solid that goes with it and a solid that goes with it and this one is actually a lace weight so it's going to be interesting but I'm going to try to combine the two and um, this one is called debauchery that's the the name of the yarn mm -hmm. sloth is the colorway sloth Sloth, S L O T H. Hmm, that's funny. Karen. So, <laughs> so it's lazy, slow yarn. The butchery lace weight sloth, and it's sloth. beautiful. Sloth, not blue, but very beautiful. But anyway, they go together really pretty. And so, very autumnal. Yes, I'm going to come up with a design. So keep your eyes peeled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and 
Oh, that was we Willow. had a Willow Yarns put uh, put on a brunch for designers, and they gave us a whole bag of samples. Also, there's 13 different yarns in this little sample, kind of a coffee bag of mm -hmm. yarn tasting. Isn't it cute? I haven't even opened it yet because I wanted to share what it looks like. Yeah. It's mini skeins. It's <laughs> kind of been through the suitcase um, mushing process. Right. Because you, she brought an entire empty oh. suitcase just to, for all the <laughs> swag that she picks up. I overpack. Yeah. Well, I usually bring two big suitcases, not full in the beginning, but one empty and one full. And I have a rolling carry-on that I put inside the empty one. Mm -hmm. So then on the way home, I have room for all the stuff that we collect while we're at TNNA. Right, and so for once you didn't have bags and bags to try and carry right. and stuff. And Southwest Airlines, they rule because you get your first two checked bags free, 50 pounds each, and mm -hmm. mine are usually 49 and a to half. To the brim, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and I, I taught classes, so I had some teaching supplies in one of mine, and I had a good time stuffing everything in for sure into my right. suitcase, but I got it all home, mm -hmm. surprisingly. Fun time. So we both have a lot of work ahead of us, and but we're also rejuvenated and excited and enthusiastic about, about our designs and stuff now because that's what it does, that, that show just feeds us and gets mm -hmm. us going. Um, Lots of inspiration. I'm ready to ideas. go. I'm ready to go knit. How about you? Oh yeah. yeah. Me too. <laughs> okay. And I've got to get home to my kids. Missed my kids. I'll be home to see them today. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I need to start unpacking. Yeah. And brush your teeth. <laughs> I got my I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got my toothbrush out. I'm my just teeth are kidding. clean. That was a joke. We do. It's see. because I got a uh, I got a business phone call <laughs> at eight o'clock this morning. <laughs> and the d and the editor wanted to talk for a half hour, and I said, "Look, can we talk later? Because I don't even have my toothbrush unpacked yet." <laughs> but I That's did. That's why I said that. Mm -hmm. I don't have bad breath. I <laughs> she does. I had already unpacked my toothbrush. That much I got unpacked right. and took a shower. Right. <laughs> but no, the the ba the suitcases are still all over the living room. So I guess that about wraps it up for now. Um, how long did we go? Almost 20 minutes, and we only planned on 10. Oops. Oops. <laughs> but that's good. <laughs> Evidently, so finding stuff to talk about is easy, but you, easier than we but thought. But you'll have to tell her what you want to hear about yes. and see. We didn't show you anything on the needles because all I did is swatched. I made like eight swatches on the my plane rides home, right? Which are for proposals for magazines and yarn companies. Um, and you played on your iPad. You didn't even knit, did you? I didn't knit on the second flight, but on the first flight I did, I finished one design for- I slept. For Coates and Clark, because on the first flight. We figured out over two or three night period, we got combined one night's sleep. Mm -hmm. The night yeah. we flew in, it was uh, three hours of sleep. Three hours, yeah. I slept on the plane though. <sighs> Okay. okay, well, <laughs> good for me. Bye. And I, I'll just close in saying I want to, um, I think I'm going to link all of these, or at least this one for now, on my blog, which I'm going to get going again. It's bayareanitter.blogspot.com. And leave a comment when I post this. It'll already be there, of course. So when you go to the website, in the comment section, leave a comment, let us know what you thought, let us know what you want to see. That'd be nice, because we've never done this before. Right, this is our first, my first attempt at a podcast, and she's my first guest, so guinea hopefully, pig. guinea pig, she's my guinea pig, so hopefully I'll, I'll continue, I'll probably be podcasting alone quite a bit, which will make me nervous, but um, hopefully I'll have can you Skype and podcast? Maybe. Yeah, Be maybe like I can figure out a way. Have the little iPad sitting here next to each other. <laughs> figure out a way to Skype her in, and then we can do the podcast together still. Uh, yeah, yeah that would be, be awesome. So yeah. just let us know what you think. Okay.
Don't hurt our feelings too much. Nice, <laughs> nice meeting you. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>